Hey guys, this is Sarah. All right, so I do have still, I have a different setup still. I'm still trying to work on getting my other situation figured out. Um, as soon as I do that, I will probably start the Zodiac reads again. Right now I just can't because I like for you guys to be able to see them because I prefer it that way too whenever I watch reads. So I just don't know. I mean, change is good, right? You guys just might have to deal with not being able to see them. I mean, I'll hold them up and I'll show them and then I'll lay them down, but you know, that's just different, okay? All right, well, this came out. I was just moving this deck. It says, I messed up and I regret it. They regret everything, okay? Easy does it, rest and vacation is needed and it's okay to let me go. So, and I feel like cutting the deck as well, so I'm gonna do that. Sometimes love hurts and people can change. Just don't give up. People can change and sometimes we have to go separate ways from these people so they can do their healing journey alone. We get in the way of theirs and they'll get in the way of ours if we're constantly worrying about this other person. So somebody is going it alone for a reason right now. Rest and heal from me, it's over and don't give up on me though. So exactly what I just said, you guys will probably find make your way back to it. If it's meant to be, it's meant to be, right? <clears throat> I feel like this is somebody's oracle messages though. It's not a pick a card, it's just a regular message. A regular oracle message. General read or collective read. I guess I'll fill it out and see what's going on here. What does the collective need to know, spirit? Cards are flying today. Spirit team strong. When your spirit team's strong, you know that means you're strong, right? Stronger than you give yourself more credit for. Don't use it in the wrong way. <clears throat> Never ending story, the heart in a bubble underneath her. Yeah, definitely around a loved one. This could be a, a friendship too. It doesn't have to be a friend, a friend or a family member or a close confidant, a close, I guess that'd be a friend, right? Um, a close person at work. So it's a wide array of people that that can cross. Message in a bottle. Sorry for the glare. I guess I need to work on getting a regular ring light too. Milk and honey, the land of milk and honey, right? Have you heard that expression? We've got five, one, one, five here too. So you're seeing palindromes, mirroring numbers. And then we have yin, a masculine. I'm pretty sure that's the yin energy. Masculine is yin. What's on the bottom of the deck? The never ending story. Yang. The feminine. Exchanging gifts in reverse. Coming to the edge. Serendipity. I think that's a movie too. The thinker in reverse. All right. When's that out? Uh, I need to light another incense. There's a message of abundance coming in though for you. <coughs> What's milk and honey? I'm gonna look up the book meaning for that because I'm feeling drawn. 51, 51. <coughs> Excuse me. Throat chakra's acting up now. Who either somebody here wants me to shut the fuck up or you need to cleanse your throat chakra. You're having a hard time communicating with yourself or your loved ones. I almost said passed on loved ones too. The taste of prosperity, opportunities born of authenticity, nurturing abundance, trusting what your that your needs will be met. Trusting that your needs will be met. So food, water, roof over your head right now, lots of things to be grateful for, right? You might not be in the exact spot in your life that you want to be right now, but you're still you're alive and kicking, right? Uh, you've entered a sweet time in your life, enjoying the land of milk and honey that everyone wants to experience. It's an interlude that feels more languid than ambitious when all your senses are awake to the unlimited possibilities in the universe. These times are precious and only come when you're in your authentic zone, wearing the world as a loose garment, not wanting yet able to be nourished in ways both tangible and subtle. Abundance is an energy that you are a living part of. All your needs are being met. You are given the gift of nourishment in every form. The relationship message says sensuality, connection, and passionate romance between lovers, sweet moments of understanding and love among friends and family are all here for you and savor now. Your heart's calling will be answered. Let your thoughts and feelings be sweet with gratitude and you will be nourished with the honey of abundance. Sweet. 
gratitude, graciousness. Yeah, let's get these first. Cleanse those fuckers. All right, can we get more clarity on the message in a bottle? Reframing, refraining from giving a message to someone I also heard. Uh, there's a tent here. It says temporary situation. So whatever is going on, definitely temporary situation. Grapes coming out over milk and honey. So uh, milk, honey, and fruit. <laughs> Time to go out and have some fun. What else for yin? The owl. Good advice from a wise person. You're welcome. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so there's a message coming in. That's communication. Okay. Maybe it's somebody hard pill to swallow. This person is maybe kind of hard. Maybe they're a little brash or harsh towards you in previous instances. Maybe you, you cringe in letting them know what's going on because you know they're going to be truthful about it. And they're going to point out the things that you would rather ignore. But there's this like sense of they, they also you know, brutal honesty and, in, but integrity behind it. And they're going to be like, give you some sort of wise advice in a different way. There has been a misunderstanding though. Mercury's in retrograde. So when you find you're hitting a wall, there's, there was a misunderstanding in a message that was given to you. Maybe you are an avid tarot and oracle reader or watcher and you are putting things your, your fear is letting you put things in spots where it's not actually for you, but your fear is taking it on because it makes sense to you. Everything that's been coming out, whether it's in tarot read or messages from other people. And as I'm saying this, great worry over nothing. So you, you're worrying the situation isn't going on for you. Dealings or situations with an older man. Ay, 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 something just fell here down here on the flow. On the flow. A vulture, depression, anxiety, worry that someone is against you. So, no, nobody's against you. Their problems are to be resolved, though. What about good advice from a wise person? Also, this good advice from a wise person came out over the masculine card. Pay attention to your finances. Could be good advice around finances. Could be good advice around seeing something from a different perspective. Somebody show, pointing something out to you that you hadn't noticed before. I'm sensing, like, maybe it could be... a a, friend, a family member that someone's pointing it out to you about a family member or vice versa. A family member's pointing something out to you about whatever. I lost my train of thought. And then we have guaranteed success. So whatever's happening here, there's guaranteed success in the, in the end of it. A lighthearted and carefree time. It's time to go out and have fun. Just not too much fun because then I have turkey, someone behaving stupid. So don't be reckless in your behavior viewer there's a card over here five of pentacles that's sadness that's shame that's worry what else can we know here there has been great worry over a temporary situation though there's something that you could be maybe you're like sarah i haven't really been worrying uh there's something that you're choosing to deny or you're pushing down though, you're ignoring. Something is being ignored here, whether this is you or somebody around you. Eight of Cups, walking away from that which no longer serves you. Yeah, walking towards the light, because there's success. The star card came out well ago. Success in some endeavor, right? Can we get more on the situation, please? I don't know the specific meanings behind these tarot cards, so if one really piques your interest, you feel free to look up the book meaning online, what it means in tarot, okay? And King of Wands, Leo energy coming in here. You're masculine though, okay? This could, you could be a feminine Leo and this is your masculine energy that's trying to come through with this, uh, I heard hot headedness, all right? Don't shoot, I'm just, just a goddamn messenger, okay? <laughs> just the messenger. Just saying what I see, you want to feel, what I sense. I like talking about you, 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 you usually, but occasionally I want to talk about me as I say that. I don't know why that song popped in my head. There's a reason for everything. The King of Cups comes out. Whoa. 
talking about maybe it's your masculine needing to be centered in his emotions talking about his emotions you feeling comfortable talking about your emotions maybe that's your masculine side if you're feminine maybe that's your fat masculine side coming out being i'm gonna let pride get in my way i put pride amongst everything first and foremost crikey why do you guys keep falling on the fucking ground yeah there were two of them we've got the seven of wands with surrendering de defensiveness and turning your cheek uh, walking away from those defensive energies, whether this is within yourself or around other people, you're no longer dealing with it. Like, you're like, I don't have time for drama and bullshit anymore. I don't have trauma. I don't have time to be hateful. I don't have time to be argumentative. And then I'm, I'm noticing this message in a bottle and this card, the colors are very, very similar. Sorry for the glare. Still trying to get used to this over here. Um, we're going to bring that out here in a minute. <sighs> Something may have been said in the midst of an emotional upheaval. <clears throat> when we get angry and we retaliate and we want to hurt somebody the way they hurt us, we're like, <clears throat> this is me from my perspective, right? I'm not going to let anybody fuck with me. I'm going to give you, I'm going to chew you up one side and down the other. And I'm going to let you know, make you feel as bad as you made me feel in previous instances. But here's the kicker. They didn't know how bad that they made me feel because I didn't communicate it. And I, I would hold a grudge. I would hold resentment and it would stay built up in them to me until I had a moment, an excuse to fly off the fucking handle. <coughs> a wish coming true. A wish is granted. You actually, that's the star again. Twice we've had the star. So something about the stars, looking at astrology, looking into your birth chart and your life path number. Um, you might want to look up the meaning behind the star card as well. There's a card on the bottom. Look, the Ace of Cups. Something that you wished for from the heart. She's holding this. There's light over her heart. It's coming up. An emotional something. Wear your heart on the sleeve. Maybe you're asking for your masculine to be that way, to, to be more open, to speak more <clears throat> about it. It, I don't know what it is, but I'm feeling drawn to this deck right here, so I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. What else do we have for the viewer? 12 minutes, 44 seconds. All right, look. I regret how I treated you. They do live in regret, viewer. They do live in regret. I need some water. I need some fucking water. Yeah, trigger warning. Sometimes I get really triggered by hearing people drink. I just want to slap the fucking cup out of their fucking hands. <laughs> if I'm being honest. <coughs> walk away. It's a toxic situation. All right. So for somebody here you had to walk away they just kept on kept on kept on until you're like i can't take it anymore i have to move i have to go i send you shooting stars holy crap there's a star again someone's passed on loved ones sends shooting stars easy does it this rest and vacation is needed i said this rest so i guess you're in like hermit mode right now or you're in process of going on vacation it's okay you didn't know any better it wasn't my time yet but it'll all be okay Drink water and eat your veggies on the bottom. <laughs> All right. Um, which one? Both. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> Some message cards here. Whoa, that came out fast. What is this? The Nine of Michael. Archangel Michael coming through. Your worry is unnecessary. And we have that right here. Unnecessary worry over nothing with the whale. Focus on your thoughts on the outcome you desire. Release feelings of regret, guilt, or worry over to your angels. And this, I regret how I treated you. That could be you regretting how you treated somebody, okay? Like I say, you know, feel free to switch the energy. Not only talking about you, but people's situations going on around you. And uh, could pertain past, present, potential, near future. Michael coming out again here. Owls again. There's a big old owl right here. 
good advice from a wise friend. An exciting new challenge. You have what it takes to succeed. Review contracts or documents very thoroughly. Don't be afraid to ask questions. If you're fixing to have to go in and sign something, write down your questions so you don't forget them. Uh, a doctor, if you're going to see a doctor, write it down. Put a memo pad on your phone. That way you can refer back to it. Ask your higher self to help you. Remember that it's there. New beginnings, starting a new life, finding your purpose, a forgiving and compassionate review of the past. Like I said, it could pertain to your past, present, your potential, or future. And then we have three of Raphael. Reasons to celebrate a community of friends. Happy announcements regarding relationships or children. And there is a card over here and there's a family. Uh, mother, father, and two children here. And so I, you need to know that your family is watched over. Whether you're in, you're all together, or you're separated everywhere throughout wherever, they are protected and divinely guided. And then these closing messages on what spirit is helping you with right now, what this need is or what the situation was happening or why it was happening or why you're having to go through it, okay? Because it's not all for nothing, I promise you that. I feel like that one wanted to come out. Sometimes I take them, sometimes I don't. We're gonna take it, we're gonna wait for a flipper because I like the flippers, don't you? Surrender to inner peace. I think that one wants to come out too. Crocky. Crocky. All right. I have surrender to joy. A key to positive change in your life is to let joy in and savor it. So by what they mean by this is letting it in and not, not going, not tensing up going, oh my God, it's too big, good to be true and it's just going to fall out. Something's going to fall. I'm going to fall on my face. Something bad's going to happen. Like stop, anticipate, stop anticipating worst case scenario, okay? Indulge in random acts of smiling <laughs> during both the hard and easy times. Keep surrendering to more joy. So if you're not really feeling it right now and you're just like, I, I am worrying over nothing. I have abundance. I have prosperity around me. I have finances. There's a roof over my head. Good things are happening to me. But there's still this sense of dread. Well, that's your anxiety for one, but also like positive affirmations and random acts of smiling. Like you might feel like you you look fucking crazy, but that might be a good thing. It might keep people away from you who don't need to be in your inner circle right now, but it were, it helps. It really does because like, I've done it myself. Okay. Surrender inner peace. Cultivate inner peace on a daily basis. In quiet, meditative moments, focus on the stillness within and enjoy this inner refuge. Others will feel your good vibes too and your life will flow more easily. So in story time, I noticed previously whenever I was angry, I had a lot of animosity, regret, guilt, shame, all, all of the above, uh, while I was going through the process of healing myself from many, many addictions, and my attitude, 70, 747 over here, by the way, and 1828, but anyways, my attitude affected my family. If I was in a bad mood, it made them leery of me. It made them, some of them, it would even make them in a bad mood. And then there were days where I was actually in a good mood, but they were on eggshells because they were just waiting for that good mood to snap and me you know, get triggered and be like, oh my God. See, I mentioned earlier too about a misunderstanding and some wise advice from the friend, like someone who's easily, who has no problem saying, this is what you're doing wrong. And you're not wanting to go to that person. Like something like that. I'm feeling that's why that came up, I guess. <clears throat> Surrender to your intuition. Tune into your inner voice. Be aware of any gut feelings, flashes, knowings, or aha moments that you come that come through to guide you. So that was mentioned earlier too that those divinely guided ideas about why you came here or anything about your past life or anything around a situation like you're seeing you're getting these moments of clarity about this person, this place, this thing, about yourself, whatever. And then it's like, okay, you're overcoming this wall. You're leaping over this freaking wall. And you're leaping away from this temporary situation and you're 
leaping into this uh, time of abundance, but someone needs to be careful about what they're spending, how they're spending their money, what they're spending it on, okay? Not frivolous items that you don't need. And you're stepping into this wise something. Okay, surrendering your belief in scarcity, exactly. Okay, the universe is asking you to open to the infinite nature of abundance. In this way, you can remove blocks in your life and succeed beyond your wildest dreams. So there's something here. This could be for your personal journey. This is you alone. Something here involving financial matters is uh, like lessons to be learned or guilt or something around finances. <clears throat> the Eight of Swords. Yeah, something's keeping you tied up. It's just, you're just blocking your own progress in something. Maybe you're trying to get manifestations to come in for you. But uh, this is all I have for you in this video. So I hope it helped. I hope it resonated. Hope it made sense. If it did, hit that like and subscribe button for me. And if you are interested, I have all my contact information is below for private reads. Love and light.